Hey people, long time. Sorry, I've been very busy. Haven't had much time for any spider videos. But uh, I thought I'd do a quick update now. And as you can see, my purple Peru is out on the prowl. This guy is getting huge. I think he's penultimate now, but uh, yes. Also, I've noticed a lot of mold developing in my tanks. I think it's because we've had such cold weather the last uh, couple of weeks that the hot and cold air is just, I don't know, it just seems, I've never had a problem with mold before, but it's only recently it started. Anyway, but I uh, thought I'd give you a quick update on my lovely lady, my Versicolor. I've <laughs> I've covered her tank in a pair of tights. <laughs> yes, I went into a store and I bought some tights. But um, just because the vents are too big for any well, any spiderlings, then they would come out. They'd just crawl straight out of these uh, size vents. So I thought I'd cover them with a pair of tights and uh, job done. Yes, but uh, the babies are now due literally any day any day now at all as you can see it's a whopping great sack and she's really really looking after it so yes nothing much to, else to report with her at the moment except I'm still waiting Anyway, there you go. Um, yeah, my diverse bees, I don't know what they're doing. They're never out and they don't eat and they're not quite molted or very strange. However, speaking of molts, there is a species I have down here that's just molted. One second, let me go macro. Right then, here is my. not happy so I'm not going to do it long but my P Metallica as you can see that's just molted I think this is my female right I'm going to keep it because as you can see she's freaking out with the light she hates light bless her so that's cool they're growing like well she's, she's about two months behind the male and here's the male Hang on. Yeah, here's the male here. Well, I'm assuming it's male. They keep munching their molt, so I can never, uh, never sex them. But, um, yeah, they're just different. The female's much stockier. It's, it's strange, this, this, and he grows a lot quicker. Anyway, also, another guy that molted, the blue fang. He is doing very well. Or she, again, another one that uh, keeps their molt. As you can see, the molt is down there. The tube goes right away up the back, all the way up to the top. So, uh, even though they're burrowing species, they do you do see them a lot because they do tend to um, hang around at their entrances. So, I wouldn't say they display tarantulas, but uh, you know, you do see them. It's not very rare to not, you know. Anyway, and here's my female whopping. Camera Jay. And this thing eats like a horse. It really does. She's gorgeous. And getting big. In fact, she's... What's she, six in star now, if that? And she must be about four and a half inches now. And big as well, not just legs. She's she's pretty big, her carapace is big, everything's big. And also another molt I had, my Menisotropus Balfouri. Here, we'll try and see if we can... Yep. There he is, I'm assuming is a he. Sorry people, very hard to see. In here. As well, growing like a weed. A 
Beautiful. Stunning species. Probably one of my favourite of all time. And here is Georgina, my Brachypelma baby, Mexican fire leg. Doing what she normally does, which is looking lovely and not much else. I think she stood in that position for the last two days. <laughs> anyway, and also my down here. This is going to be my Cambridge Eyes tank. I've planted live orchids in here actually. Well, say planted, you don't plant orchids, you just kind of drop them in and they thrive on their own. But my P. Cambridge Eyes is going to love all those roots to wrap around and yeah it's good tank so next time she molts she'll be I'll grow that tub anyway yep yeah. and just at the back there you can just see at the top there the abdomen of my rib tree spider Ridopelma recifi and as you can see she's been making paintings with her backside on the glass or perspex should I say and uh She's doing very well. She's turned out to be really, really pretty species actually. Completely changed on the last molt. She has more of a slate blue and just a lot bigger. I didn't think she was going to get much bigger, but she did. But uh, yeah, I was quite surprised actually. But it's great. And yeah, I have two lovely bits of bark ready for. That'll probably be my Embolthoris tank. And I'll use some of the cork bark as well for my Pumetallicus. So I have one, two, and then another tank up here, spare. Three. So I can fit three tanks in here. But, um, yes, that is my update for now. I'm hoping she was due the. Well, I estimated that the egg sac was going to hatch around the 23rd, and today's the 26th. So, I mean, it is an estimate depending on the heat, blah, blah, whatever. But, um, yeah, I am, yeah, hopeful in the next week. This is probably the closest I've got, because my Piaminia, as you know, air hers after 13 days. But she's always looked after her egg sac. Always, Shelves has kept it till the bitter end. That's why I've left it in with her. I didn't want to screw this up. I just thought Mum knows best. So, uh, yeah. So yes, and these will be for sale once they hatch for people in the UK, obviously. So I don't uh, don't want to send them abroad. So yes, and that is all. But I shall keep you updated. And, um, yep, yeah, oh, she's gone in. He's gone in, sorry, hates the light. Yes, and, um, yes, there'll be a lot more videos soon. Okay, cheers, people.